my hair feels so stinking soft. This is that overnight hair mask that I used? It's from Bondi Boost. I think I said it yesterday, but I only put it for a, like an hour just because I really wanted to do my hair today. But while my hair was drying, it felt so soft. So if you're in, you're looking for um, a new conditioner or hair mask, Bondi Boost. I'm getting ready for church. Um, my hair's kind of wavy and I would typically go through with like a flat iron, but like I don't want to right now. It's pretty cold out. I just found out that it's going to be freezing for Christmas, which is very exciting. I think the bangs came out really good. I never wear my hair straight, so I'll show you the process when I flip my hair. Okay, this Sunday has been a Sunday where, you know, you go to church, you have lunch with your friends, you go back to your house, take a nap, and then wake up and probably watch a movie. So that's pretty much today. It's Today has literally been nothing exciting because, well, not exciting, but like, I didn't take my camera out at church. I didn't take my camera out with my friends at lunch. And then we took a nap. And then now I'm trying to upload a video. But you guys know it. I have no Wi-Fi. So we are trying to figure that out. I'm pretty sure it's like one of, the, one of the things is like messed up or something. And they just have to send us another one. But it's beyond frustrating because I work from home. So it's just like annoying. And then trying to upload these videos. It's just like it goes in and out and I mean I said it since Friday. It's just aggravating um, So I'm trying to upload this video on YouTube from a hotspot like from my hotspot So I'm hoping that I do that. I'm trying to do something festive like probably have hot chocolate watch a movie because we haven't really Watched a Christmas movie like sat there and watch it um, Like Isaiah and I so we might do that, but then that's like no talking so <laughs> I don't know how much cool and entertaining this video is gonna be but i still want to upload um this week is the last week of vlogmas and it's so sad but this has been really awesome i think i said that yesterday i've enjoyed recording every single day and watching back the memories anywho i'm gonna try my very best right now to upload this video with a hot spot oh and then i'm gonna show you my bangs i really really like them um, I cut them, whoa, I cut them, and, but they're, like, slept on right now. You did that? Yeah. I told them that I, well, actually, I don't think I added it in the video because I did it fast, like, fast forward or whatever, um, the speed, but I was saying, I'm like, this is so not unusual for me. I used to cut my hair all the time as a kid. You still do. And I still do. So, anyway, um... I'm gonna try to like flip it with like my curling iron, like the trick that I was I done before. Uh, but I really like it, and then my hair feels so soft. Um, it feels really, really good because of the Bondi Boost um, conditioner, which I have to post now that I think about it on stories. Um, okay, let me upload. I try to upload this video. Okay, I wanted to show you my bangs. Um, I think they came out pretty good, if I do say so myself. I'm not an expert, of course, but I'm going to try this method that I've been doing. They're shorter now, so I have no idea how this is going to look, but um, my hair, I did trim my ends a little bit, and they, it does feel really healthy. Okay. I don't want to leave it for so long. You know how they say cool the hair before you brush it? Okay. Pretty cool. I think because it's short, 
it's giving too much volume, so I might I probably can't do this method. But I do like this side. Let me see if I could mess around. Right now, the top hair products that I use are Bondi Boost and Vegamore. Um, and I've been using them for probably Vegamore for sure a year and Bondi Boost probably close to a year. They were sending me some packages and I fell in love with their stuff. Um, literally all their stuff like bondi boost hair products hair tools so good and then vegamore um their hair drops and their biotin gummies and their shampoo and conditioner like they have so many good things so i would recommend right now those are the like two hair hair brands that i use i really like color wow for they have this money mask, I think it's called, um, hair mask. My hair always feels really nice after, very soft. What else? Let me look through my cabinets. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this instead. And then when my bangs were shorter, I've had to like kind of train them a little bit. So, yeah, that looks better. Um, Wait. so I would leave like a clip like that and I would leave it on um, until you know probably while I was driving in the car or while I was you know around the house and it really does work it's so funny because people have asked me before like you do this thing with your bangs like what is what are you doing and I don't know I think it's like I have like I don't really know but I feel like I'm trying to I'm trying to get it to do this so like instead of it looking like I don't know I'm trying to get that like swept look so I do that I mean my hair is thick so it does like stay I'm gonna have to figure this one out but um that's what I'm trying to do when I do that I go like this and then I do that for my bangs but um it's funny i had someone that was like why do you do that with your bangs and i'm like well if they're short you gotta like play around with your hair like and like set it in place My friend Jomi has um, these, she's really like really good at doing her nails at home, um, but she also finds like the best press on nails and she had some today that looked really cute. She got them from Target. I believe they're Olive in June and I need to do something with my nails. So I'm thinking about getting that. I don't know. I'm so like, I can't have long nails and sometimes i feel like press-ons don't last as long but i feel like for the week it should be fine um but they were cute they they look like someone had painted that in like on her actual nail because they were short and clear and they had like stars i believe very cute so i do like how my bangs look on this side i have to play around with this side but <clears throat> speaking of like when I was saying to train your hair sometimes I would just put like one like this and just look like that while I'm home but then it does train the bang to like stay up here in this area so I like how it came out it looks pretty good So we're gonna go over 
what I would recommend to you if you are looking to buy new hair products and um, hair tools. So first off, because I said that I really use Bondi Boost and Vegamore, I want to share with you which of each that I would truly recommend that is like if you had to get anything from this line get it so the first one is from Vegamore I would recommend getting the hair biotin gummies they are really good like I've said before they are just so good for your hair um, they taste good and so they're very clean uh, brand cruelty free so I would recommend that that's something that I use every single day because I have thick hair I feel like I get the most out of this specific duo which is the enzo 03 conditioner for thick hair it's shampoo and conditioner for thick hair i just feel like it works right for my hair type i feel like it lathers well i feel like it nourishes it well without having to use a mask so they have different hair products as well for like thinner hair but i really like the enzo 03 for thick hair i am probably going to speak on hair masks from all of like the I have like multiple just because I really use it my hair is very dry and um, very thick and dry and just like the texture is you know just it's it needs the moisture so I really like an overnight restoring mask if I feel like my hair is just getting like not I don't know not lively not it's just looking dull um, I leave my hair natural for a few days and so I will leave this overnight mask on and it's really good so Enzo 03 thick hair shampoo and conditioner and this overnight mask along with the biotin gummies is what I feel like if you were gonna try something try one of those things first I have in the shower and I'm feeling lazy but it's the Bondi Boost Anti-Frizz for like anti-frizz conditioner shampoo. This is the conditioner. I have the shampoo inside of the shower. Really good. I feel like when I do my hair, my hair is very, very frizzy. And I feel like this sort of helps it with the moisture. Um, and when I straighten my hair, I feel like it comes out really good. So the anti-frizz um, from Bondi Boost is really good. I feel like to get the perfect like it has to have a cocktail right it's not just like one shampoo and conditioner it's like a variety of things so just like take my recommendations create your own hair cocktail but i feel like when i use certain things together they work very well just wanted to put that out there and then this is what i used yesterday and it's really really good um like i said this isn't this is an overnight hair mask but within the hour as my hair was drying i felt it here my this was so soft and i have naturally curly hair so in my natural like state of hair it was very soft and you could tell like that the ends were like sealed in i tried it for the first time yesterday but i really really recommend it it's really good let's see i don't know where it is right now and I don't know if I might have already, I believe I already just used it up. But I think I said that Color Wow's Money Mask, really good. It's blue. It, I've never seen that type of texture for a hair mask. But it's so like, I can't even describe it. It doesn't look, because I feel like this is like, okay, this looks like a hair mask. That one like doesn't, I don't know, I can't explain it. But it works really good on my hair and I really like it. The next thing from Color Wild that I use all the time is the Dream Coat. I used this before I blow dry my hair and it just feels right. It feels like it's sealing my ends. It feels like it's protecting it from the heat. I use it all the time and 100% recommend. These next two products are splurge items because they are expensive and they are from Orbe these products i'm pretty sure i got them like over a year ago probably two years um and i have just tried using it this one's probably like a year um i have tried using it as little and as like lightly as possible because it's so expensive but i love it not only the smell is incredible 
it really does make your hair feel soft i promise you like i i think it was like three years ago that i was like i need to start like buying items like quality items for my hair and this was like my first investment and every time i go to the hair salon they use some type of orbe products on me and i love the way that my hair comes out so this i put on it's a cream a blowout cream i put on before i blow dry my hair amazing and then this is something that you put on also like when your hair is wet before you blow dry it smells so good um this has lasted me so long because you're supposed to just use like a couple of sprays and not you're not supposed to just like you know use too much but um i love it i love Oribe, and if i could buy all their products i would because it just smells so good and it really does like make a difference in your hair this is a product that i've had for a while but i haven't really dabbled into it as much as i have had the last couple of weeks um and this is the color wow high gloss finish i don't know why i just did i don't know if i didn't know exactly how to use it but i feel like lately i've been using it after i do my hair only because i was like well if i already have oil in my hair i don't know if i'm going to put this and i think that it's either one or the other but it is frizz control and UV protectant. I have liked it on days. I usually like putting hair oil after I blow dry and if I need to, because I usually do my hair like one time a week, sometimes twice depending. Um, so like today's Sunday, I did my hair yesterday. I'm probably not going to do it till like Wednesday um, just because of the weekend and Christmas. So I want my hair to be fresh. But um this is something that i could use every single day and it's light enough to where my hair doesn't feel oily but then it like does the job in my ends and kind of like you know making things look glossy so i have been using this more often so okay this is the most recent hair oil that i've purchased and it's from way i have tried the olaplex gizu and the one from Oribe actually and i really really liked Oribe and gizu gizu my hair is very thick so it doesn't make my hair feel oily because it is a very thick like oil i feel like um but i actually took a class from gizu they had like this learn about our products and like with our team so like signed up this was like last year i believe it was via zoom they were showing us how to use their products and literally they drop they did like a dropper of the oil and it wasn't even that much like you don't need that much so i started using it correctly and it lasted me so long and i love like love gizu but i ran out and so i wanted to try something new there was another option that i was looking at but i felt like the hair oil was very like thin and very like airy i can't even explain it but i put it in my arm and i was just like i feel like there's no there's nothing and the way that my hair is so thick it needs to have like a little bit of you know to not texture but i can't even explain it. it was just too thin for my hair so i um put this i tried it on at sephora and i really like it so i have been using this and i have loved it so far okay four more affordable um products eva nyc and amika are really good and amika i don't have it because i have right now i'm 100 percent. i actually i have it yes i do one second soul food there's probably nothing in here or it's very yeah it's you can't even tell but there's not much in there really really good amika is i feel like pretty affordable um and i love this hair mask as you can tell it just makes my hair feel really nice they also have a lot of um sprays but i to be honest don't feel like i i'm still trying to figure it out but i don't feel like sprays like textured hairspray or like i guess just the textured type of hairsprays don't really do anything to my hair but i still have a, it's the volume and matte texture spray i feel like just anything from amika is really good so if you are into that I would recommend the brand um and then eva nyc i do use this on and off so if i'm like wanting to switch off from the color wow i do use this one um no this is lift off all the amazing where hold on this one yes um the main in magic 10 in 1 primer so i go on and off between this one or the color wow one um and this is just like heat protectant reduces frizz just all the things you need to put on before you 
um, do your hair. And this one's the same thing, but bigger. <laughs> Uh, and I do use this one, so it's the same thing, um, but Eva, Eva NYC is really good. And I just got the hair, their hair mask uh, recently, therapy session hair mask, and again, I just love a good hair mask. It really does make a difference in your hair, and if you have thinner hair, just use a little bit, don't use a lot. Um, but I feel like hair masks are just the thing that if your hair is feeling like dull, just whip up a hair mask and leave it on all day like if you don't work from home when I wasn't working from home and I would just put on a bun and I had the you know my ha hair mask on I put a bun on and I called it a day because there's just something about like it being on your hair for several hours when you wash it off it just feels so good so Eva NYC really good okay four hair tools that I use every single day Revlon and it looks crazy I think I'm due for a new one um, but the Revlon blow dry brush has transformed my life the way that I don't I still don't know how to blow dry my hair but I use this um, like I said once a week I don't use it throughout the week um, only because I feel like it does heat up a lot and I feel like for my specific type of hair like one use is fine so i use this once a week or twice depending and then after that i just touch up my hair my flat iron my flat iron that broke in or overheated in israel i overheated that thing and i still don't have a good one and that so i won't show what i use because I feel like it's good but it's not like my favorite like the one that I literally messed up in Israel was my favorite um, I know that is it not hot tools what is this baby bliss baby bliss I know has a flat iron um, so I thought about getting that one and then my sister has one in from Kristen S that I really liked so I need to like search for it it hasn't been like top of mind because I feel like once I use my hair my blow dryer what is it my blow dry brush i'm using the flat iron just to touch up like the parts that didn't like straighten so i feel like it's not a priority but i did love like i loved it and i remember before i went i was like don't bring your favorite one just in case it messes up it's like a whole conversation i had in my head and i was like no because i it's i use it every day it's my favorite and i messed it up so whatever moving along to curling irons these two curling irons are really the ones that i use on a daily basis like whenever i'm kind of over this one i use this one and vice versa they're pretty much the same size but they're just both really good so this one is from bondi boost and this one is from baby bliss pro i got this one i purchased this one from ulta and this this one was sent to me um love them both use them all the time and i know that baby bliss has so this is like the in between like the middle one it's not the smallest and it's not the largest so i know I, I i need to really be better at saying like the sizing but i can't remember the top of my head and then lastly these two styling tools that i use to get the wave the mermaid wave look um i got this one from amazon and this one was sent to me by bondi boost they both work just as well i feel like this one though does provide a more natural um like mermaid hair but not so like tight look because it is bigger in size but they both do the trick very well and i do like i just like how they <laughs> they're whatever. anyway um so yeah this one's a little bit bigger so that's why but they both are really good and just like the other ones whenever i'm over this one i use this one and vice versa but they both provide that like mermaid cute look and really like it and that's pretty much what i use on a weekly basis daily basis depending on what i'm doing i will try to link everything that i mentioned below just in case you are interested um my hair like i said it's very thick it's very dry it's very frizzy or like prone to frizziness so these products are what i have found that really help my hair look like this <laughs>
Christmas in my